All right, Jim. Well, before we wrap up with a few songs, we have some breaking news. Uh, wait a minute. Hold on. What now? As being reported by Mike Johnson, PW Insider, and PWInsiderElite.com, Vince McMahon and Oliver Luck settle XFL lawsuit. Oh! A settlement has been reached in the lawsuit brought against Vince McMahon by former XFL commissioner Oliver Luck just weeks before the planned commencement of the trial on July 11th in Connecticut. Despite settlement talks last week ending after just nine minutes, <laughs> a filing on June 17th requested the United States District Court of Connecticut seal all documents related to the case. So they're waiting for the court to officially okay everything, but a settlement has been agreed upon. What do you think about the timing of this? Well, last week the talks ended in nine minutes. That was before the announcement of Vince's other legal issues. It was the same day, wasn't it? Maybe. <laughs> I think it was the same day. You know, I, he picked the wrong day to quit sniffing glue last week. I'm assuming that... He said, okay, first things first, and most important things most important, and let's get out of this. And they sealed it, which means that we won't know the terms of the settlement, who admitted they were right and who they were wrong, and what was paid to who, and etc. So that won't necessarily prejudice public opinion or anybody else on Vince's current predicament, but if they broke down after nine minutes last week and all of a sudden they've settled, I think that's an uh, indication that Vince would like to clear up some of the flea market bullshit he's involved in, tackle the main stuff. And actually on that point, let's just go through the numbers real quick. Again, from Mike Johnson's article here, Luck had sued McMahon over his departure, which took place just as the league filed for bankruptcy in the face of the COVID-19 pandemic and before it was purchased by a group of investors led by The Rock and Danny Garcia, who aimed to relaunch the league in 2023. Luck's contract called for a $5 million annual salary and a yearly $2 million bonus through June 30th, 2023. Luck alleges he is owed $23.8 million remaining on his contract, as well as other damages and his attorney fees. McMahon filed a countersuit against Oliver Luck, former XFL commissioner, alleging Luck all but abandoned his duties as the pandemic took hold, and that even before this point, Luck ignored McMahon's direction when it came to the signing of former NFL wide receiver Antonio Callaway by XFL's Tampa Bay Vipers. Jim, he was suing for $23.8 million. Talks ended in nine minutes, and now there's a settlement. Well, and he didn't get that. I'm pretty sure we can surmise that he didn't get everything he asked for. But part of the thing was Vince, <laughs> Vince, yeah, fired him uh, so he wouldn't have to pay him. And they were closing the whole thing down. And COVID came. He got buyer's remorse. Second XFL closed down. But thing that Luck fucked up on was Vince had said, I don't want to hire any football players with bad criminal records or bad PR or whatever. We got to keep the keep the players clean. And that led to a great deposition exchange last week when <laughs> the opposing attorney asked Vince McMahon, said, well, have you ever been accused of a felony or criminal charge? Well, whatever. Yes. <laughs> well, yes. Then you technically wouldn't be able to play for an XFL team uh, yourself. And he said, no, but I'm the owner, so it doesn't count. <laughs> but anyway, Luck signed a guy, the guy you mentioned, and Vince found out about it. He'd had charges or he'd done something, and Vince said, fire this guy. I don't want him. So instead of firing him when Vince told him to fire him, Oliver Luck let the guy go out and practice, and they were going to tell him when he came back and he went out and got hurt in practice. And they had to pay him what his contract of several million dollars or whatever the fuck it was, enough to make Vince pissed. I can tell you flat out that if Vince says do something and you don't do it, and by the time that you can do it, it's cost him a bunch of money because you didn't do it, he ain't happy. And so that that's what's so... Vince had something on him as well. That's why they were fighting about it. 
Although, so again, I would assume they met somewhere in the middle. Again, he was filing for bankruptcy and then he realized he owed all this money to Oliver Luck. It just so yeah. happened that this all happened at the same time. Yes. So it was brought to Vince's attention. <laughs> hey, guess what this guy did? I mean, yeah, but again, what did I need to send me someone from legal. Send me I need an egg, a paralegal. <laughs> okay. That that should be illegal. <laughs> but it maybe paid him half. What's twenty million to Vince, right? With all he's got going on right now. At least we don't have to worry about poor Oliver. Oliver will be fine. 